Previously on Lost Judgment. Uh. <laughs> okay, just get fucked, right? Just a casual royal flush. And now back to Lost. <laughs> Mr. Katie, what are you doing here? <laughs> ah, did you just take a picture of me? <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow, I look just fucking awful. I will cherish this picture forever, Mr. Kitty. Or at least for the next two minutes. I mean, yeah, candid shots do have the replacement photography, but I think it's also important for the person being photographed not to look terrified. Mwah. Yes, yes, every picture is beautiful in its own way. Oh, you're so artistic, Mr. Kitty. And it ah! Ah! Aha, didn't feel so good, does it? What do you think of this photo? Ah! Yeah, that's right, yeah. We're both scared together now. Help! Sneaky B, back with some more Lost Judgment. When we last left off, we infiltrated a casino and faced off against a, uh, <laughs> a gambler who was, had a very interesting uh, ability to, like, smell and colors, which was a cool idea. Unfortunately, the actual story itself was pretty underwhelming in the grand scope of things. And in the end, it actually had literally nothing to do with the professor at all anyway, which I did see some of you say, well, you know, it's it's sort of akin to like what a real investigation would be like, because yeah, in a, in a real life investigation, not everything is going to be related to the main story. However, I feel like in a video game, like some of that, you got to like, there's a, some suspension of disbelief, right? I mean, I'm literally juggling these motherfuckers in the air and like slamming them to the ground bashing their faces in there into a curbside. They're not dead. <laughs> They're fine. Your Yagami never killed anybody, all right? That's already gone way beyond the line of realistic anyway. So I, I just, I think that was kind of a bad idea. And it really, what it really felt more like was it seemed like a one that was kind of tacked on probably at the end. They're like, we need a round number of, of 10 of these school stories. Uh, so we're just gonna throw one in there and they didn't have enough time it it shows that like despite I feel like overall that the quality of a lot of this side stuff is pretty high there were definitely still some cut corners which isn't too surprising this is kind of I think the case for a lot of the Yakuza games at some point, like there's always like something you go like, yeah, they definitely didn't have enough time to fill that out or maybe not enough money to fill it out. And I definitely think in moments like that, it really just, they should just pull back, right? If you can only forward maybe eight school stories then just make it eight, it doesn't need to be 10. You don't need to throw some like uh, really gimmicky short ones in there. Like there's, this was like the length of a sub story, a short sub story. I'm actually shocked that some people even consider the, uh, the uh, Virtual Fighter one, the eSports one, to be worse than that one. Dude, that one was way freaking worse. Good God. And the eSports one, I mean, I feel like even if you don't like Virtual Fighter, come on, man, it was still charming as hell. And this one, like, it had some charm, but it seemed like it ended, like, too early, <laughs> you know? Like, oh, that's that's it? We're, we're, we're actually done? I mean, I like the casino, but, I mean, I don't really use the casino much except from getting those, those few items that I, you know, I need to get, like, the free pass voucher. So it wasn't really that big of a deal to me. But I guess on the bright side, it didn't maybe overstay its welcome. I guess that's always a possibility, too. If you have something that's not necessarily the most engaging, if it overstays its welcome, that's not really a great thing either. So maybe just best to end it while you're still ahead. But I did see a lot of you guys say apparently a lot of people do actually consider that one to be the one of the worst ones. So I, it isn't just me. So I'm glad. But yeah, and I think the only reason I feel that way is just because we've had so many uh, really, really good uh, school stories and side content in this game. I mean, to even be fair, if I'm comparing like that one, the, the casino one to any of like the, the quote unquote bad ones of Yakuza 3, dude. Oh, my God. It's like. <laughs> that shit looks like a fucking Shakespeare comparison. Because Yakuza 3 had plenty of throwaway side cases. But anyway, last episode, uh, Dojo32161 said, Yeah, Nico, uh, syn... Wait. Synesthesia. Syn... Oh my synesthesia is a really interesting mental condition where senses kind of mingle together and sort of interact. What's interesting is that, is that they can get pretty abstract. One of the most common forms is color graph... Graphemy? Graph... Grapheme? in which numbers and letters have different colors in the mind of the Cineset. Another type known as spatial sequence can make numbers, days of the weeks, or years appear as precise locations or can be viewed as three-dimensional maps. What the hell? There are tons of varieties to this. Another well-known one is 
one in which specific sounds cause you to see colors similar to what Hayakawa was doing in this with smells. The rarest form that we know of is one that causes you to taste things depending on specific words spoken. A really interesting one is mere touch, where a person will, for example, observe someone be tapped on the back only to involuntarily feel a tap on their back as well. Anyway, there are many combinations. I learned about it as a kid when I read A Mango Shaped Space by Windy Mass, and I've been really fascinated by it since it's somewhat surprising how underutilized it is in fiction. Since there's so many ways to use it, especially mysteries, it was pretty cool seeing it here in Judgment, though a bit of a bummer that it was in kind of a throwaway school story. Wow! Really? So that is a thing. It's not like some random made up horseshit for this game. Man, that's wild. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. I don't know if I'd like the one, the, the mere touch one, that like you'd be like, you see somebody get touched and then you feel a touch. That's like, that's like the shit that gets people thinking there's like ghosts, you know? But in reality, it's just their synesthesia. I'd almost say it's like superpowers or something, but I don't know. I mean, is it good? Is it a good thing? Do I want to be able to, to smell in colors? Or to hear in colors? Or to taste words? Maybe? I don't know, that could just get annoying. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, shut up. Stop talking about fucking ceramic pots. I can taste them in my mouth. But Dojo, thank you so much for your uh, fascinating comment. I, I really didn't know that it was so extensive. I, I, albeit probably relatively rare, but still interesting. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, you guys did say, apparently I did actually miss a really funny answer. When I was supposed to come up with the password to the dude to get the uh, the ID to get into the gambling hall. And I was like, ah, I, I, I probably could pick one of these ones but i don't think any of them are gonna be funny and i just picked the other one damn it i apparently was there was some funny ones in there like one of the funniest dances in the game was there shit ah uh, if it wasn't so far back i'd actually go i'd go redo it but i'm gonna do that more often then i feel like the last few times i've tried to do that here it's like the the actual like result was rather underwhelming but no never assume that to be the case you gotta go for it always go for the funny shit as long as it doesn't like lower your request reward or whatever. Do it for the memes, Yagami. You always gotta do it for the memes. But anyway, I uh, I went ahead and did uh, a little bit of the, the, the gambling hall, by which I mean, I just went to the blackjack table, put a thousand chips down, used the blackjack amulet, and immediately got five blackjacks in a row and like changed a thousand chips into like 45,000 chips. So I was able to get the uh, free pass voucher from them as well as the uh, the expert bat there. And I just figured I'd go ahead and do the exact same thing here, get the last of the free pass vouchers. So I have to get some of these tags. I think the best one to probably do this with is gonna be Oichi Kabu. So if I remember right, this is just like, uh, give me advanced. Yeah, the 10, 10, one charm. I think I remember this. So like there's Hanafuda or the, or not Hanafuda, the Koi Koi. I think actually getting money off of that is like really slow or kind of random, but this one is like the, it's like the same thing. Like if you're, if you're going to the, the gambling hall, you do either uh blackjack or if it's available roulette, which this gambling hall didn't seem to have. So, but, if, but poker is always like, you can never get a lot of money in poker because it never lets you like put that much money down. You always you know, go up in like increments of like, I think at most like a hundred or something. And it's like, fuck you, dude. Just let me like go all in. Let me go all in. Okay, so the 10 man one charm. I think it's like basically multiplies like whatever you have here by like, what is it? It's like some ridiculous thing. 10, 10, one. Two cards at the value of 10 and one is a one. Foul for dealer and players pays 20 times the bet. Dope. Sa Iko Ka. I'm just gonna go ahead and do literally nothing. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, one more. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. I'm so good. Whoa. Whoa. Victory. That's right. Give me all your points. All your points belong to me. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm done. <laughs> just like that. I went from 1,000 to 56,000. I'm done. And I'm art. Look at that. I'm a Shogun. Damn, I'm so good. I'm so <laughs> I will say I am glad these exist, man. Because trying to get some of this shit normally would be a pain in the ass. I'm definitely not a big fan of like Koi Koi or this this one right here. Uh, I'd say Mahjong is the only like relatively complex one that I like to some extent. So, all right. Yes, the final free pass voucher. Hot dog. And also a Sega game. This guy actually really doesn't have, have very much, does he? Yeah. I just get some platinum plates, which I... Well, actually, I, I guess I could. That's about the only thing that's here. Sure. Might as well. Is it like form into like one free pass voucher or does it? Uh... Oh, no. Yeah. Exchange all six types of these vouchers for a free pass to play all you want. All right. Maybe I'll go do that then. I'm 
try i'm gonna try not to really use it like crazy i will i mean i will have to do it some because of uh that one uh vr quest where i gotta like fight a bunch of different dudes but i don't want to abuse it too too much because really paradise vr really is just super busted to just get you completely loaded and make money like no object i kind of like money mattering a little bit oh hey i got some some more shit all right, let's go with uh, this one. Quickly close in on an enemy and strike their chin with the heel of your palm. X running palm strike. While running during X boost, triangle near an enemy. Sounds good. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, hey, gu guys, you dropped some. Oh, no, no, I was gonna, I was gonna help you pick that up. You motherfuckers. I was gonna be nice to you for once. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, Hey, look over here. Woo. Wait, now look at this. Okay, and then... Wait, have I actually seen the, the boxing one? Ow. Ah, oh, God, that hurt. Ow. I'm not sure if I have it. I think I just got it. There's that one. Then there's the one that... Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody angry. Okay, so... Heat mode. And then we're going to run. And then... Uh, uh, that's not it. Hold on. Maybe this one. Uh, ah, shit. <laughs> Leapfrog, that's definitely not right. Ah, damn it, they're already dead. Fuck, I killed them too quickly. And the lost item disappeared too. Du -du 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 -du. Holy shit, that really made him pissed. There we go. Ah! Big chance strike, Jesus. Ah, I ran into that bike. Neat. All right, real quick then. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the uh, the Paradise VR. Trade in my free pass voucher and maybe fight another motherfucker. Yo, uh, what up, Yagami? What's up, man? I've got my free pass voucher, which means I can do this forever. Man, I wish I had a free pass voucher. They don't even hand those out to the people who work here. I still gotta go hunt down those dumb tickets. Ha! Sucks to be you, loser. I am such a good friend. Apparently, no one else is hunting down those tickets either because there's fucking never anybody here except me. Yes. Uh, you've collected all of them. Oh, my God. I thought I thought it was impossible. It was actually way easier this time around. <laughs> Congratulations. Please accept this special gift. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. It's so beautiful. Limited amount of Dyson Cube games, whatever you wish. You can make as much money as you fucking want. <laughs> as much money as you have time. Uh, all you can play. All right, cool. I guess I'll go, uh... Do I have to pick the, the middle course? Yeah, whatever. I guess we'll go middle. I'm gonna fight, uh... Okay, last time we fought with Tashiro. Let's fight with Virtual Ryan. Stay on guard. He can disrupt more than just dice. Uh-oh. So we just finished his quest earlier. All right, Ryan. Beat the shit out of you, dude. I'm ready to die. Wow, this is a big board. Holy crap. Okay, so there's the gold core and Yan Yan and the evil one. Yeah, I, I did not play in this one yet. Oh, hey, so this is the this must be the new one that I got from um, Tashiro. Lucky number six. After using this skill, you'll only get sixes on your next three rolls. Damn. That's pretty fucking good, actually. All right, let's pray to R and Jesus. Oh, hey, I got Cali sticks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They all have chairs. They all folding chairs. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Ugh. Ugh. It's funny like that. This is like seemingly the only time you ever get to actually use weapons with Yagami. You don't really get to do this much outside of uh, VR, hilariously enough. And then look at this. I still got, I got all the same moves. They have with Kiryu. I, I still remember this, this fucking move right here. If you have Kali Six, that's all you got to do. Hit triangle and do the super move or the overhead and basically one shot everybody. Wow, just right there. Sapphire earrings. Start off strong. All right, here comes Ryan, the nerd. Ryan Mayu. Ryan Mayu. Oh, guys, just to land on me. Oh, no. God, here we go. We're about to do battle. Do I get to fight you with Cali sticks? Uh, yeah, all right. I'll get more of myself versus one Ryan. Oh, God, is that actually? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't feel safe. You shouldn't. Let's go, Team Yagami. Ah. 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 Ah, uh, Yagami thought why? Uh, you sack of shit. Uh, uh, uh. Go back to ninja school, you fake Naruto clone. Uh, oh, 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 God. Uh. <laughs> Fucking uh, environment fucked me up there. I don't even need you guys' help. 
Well, there we go. That's a nice way to start off. Ah, shit. Then I like it one. Ah, oh, I got a sandwich from that. Ah, oh, fuck you, Coronyon. You fat fuck. All right, give me this fucking lucky number six. God, nothing but sixes, baby. This is this seems super busted. <laughs> to be honest, for, it's not even for one turn. It's for three turns. Wait. Uh oh. Coronyon's right over there. Is that motherfucker gonna run into me? Wait. Wait. Go back. Let's go this way. Nah, would have been fine. Still afraid of him though. Okay, that time I did a lot better. So you better give me something better than a sandwich. Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! Alright, that's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm fucking talking about! I'm gonna go corn you! Fucking half a million, Jesus! Oh my god, another climb. God, another sandwich, fuck. Oh, I can't do it again though. It's only a one-time thing, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I No, I still have it. That's right. I forgot. I'm, I'm, it was only my second time. I still have it. I can keep going. It never ends. Oh, my God. It's funny. The climbing one is really random, too. Because, like, if you get one like this, you're generally probably not going to do as well or go as high because it's really like a maze, right? Um, But the... The other one that has like no gaps that you can just literally spam just hopping up. You do way better in and get way more money. Not surprisingly, because it's not a maze. Oh my God, getting fucked up. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh. Well, that was gonna give me a sandwich again, right? Yes, just ca I can't get enough of these fucking deluxe sandwiches. Cool, Let's see how you do right on this fucking climbing thing. Oh my God, he got a go corn yacht. That's mine, Ryan. Okay, never mind. I actually can't do it again if I really want to. I think I'm all right. All right, going to the end. I win. Jesus Christ, dude. Just a casual almost a million. Not to mention my clear time and then a whole bunch of this shit. And Kyra King Corinon get items back from King Kurinyan. Gets to the goal within 10 turns. Don't take damage. Wow. Holy mother of God. And just like that. Man. Seriously, this shit is just, just so dumb easy, man. So dumb easy money. All right. First time clear reward. Hug Bomb Alpha. Quintuple Millionaire. Afraid, wait, what? I'm afraid you'll need play. What are you talking about, lady? We just went through the conversation. Remember, you gave me a free one two seconds ago. Yo, what up? Had to do this time. Oh, you know, just a casual million. Ryan Acosta. First, I thought he was a weeb who needed to get it together. But he turned out pretty decent, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He helped us kick the Kang gang to the curb back in the day. Yeah, like one time. <laughs> he may look like a harmless dude, but he's actually pretty crazy when the shit goes down. When he, like, lob grenades while calling out anime attacks uh. and saying believe it all the time, that does sound like him. I can see why he likes grenades, too. They're like ninja tools. Maybe Yaksa run when they see one. Meh, if you say so, I'm surprised he hasn't been arrested. <laughs> anyway, I am still trained to become a full-fledged ninja. Oh, apparently he's a, he's a live streamer now? Huh. You know, I actually, I actually see that working for the guy. He's a live streamer? He didn't tell me that last time I talked to him. I wonder what skill I got from him. I find it funny that you, you seemingly can't look at what your uh, your dice and cube skills are outside of dice and cube. All right, I've got one point. Two million dollars. I'm uh, pretty good for a while. And I got Hug Bomb Alpha. Might as well chuck that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So I figure now that we got all the clubs actually revealed, we should go ahead and tackle the Photography Club, which is the last of the short ones. Well, we got the Girls Bar, but I will say the Girls Bar is clearly the longest of the uh, of the short ones, at least from what I've been able to tell. I mean, the scale one was, I guess, kind of long, but this one just gets... Like, you're not doing a lot. You're just going through conversations. But if you're actually sitting there reading the conversations, this one takes a while. But it's good. I'm actually liking the girl bar one. Even if I don't... I'm not really crazy about Emily. At least not yet. I'd say in terms of, like, T 
tiers of what I feel so far about uh, like what are like the best school stories. I'd actually say the boxing gym is probably up there. The robotics club one is definitely up there. I haven't done the dance club one in a while, but that one was fun. I think the girls bar one is up there as well. I definitely got to say fucking esports club. This one just tickled me in all the right places. I actually did enjoy the skateboarding one too. And I say the ones that sort of towards the bottom definitely got to be the casino one and the biker game one so far the story seems fine it's just the gameplay it's a little rough for me i wonder where the, the photography club will uh will rank here i have a distinct feeling this one's also going to be really short though like short for even one of the shorter ones all right let's go uh head back to school then okay so what's this one gonna entail you're gonna shoot a porno what we've hired a bunch of hookers they're gonna come here and shoot a porno with you yagami ah no i don't want to <laughs> please god it's fine it's japan nobody gives a shit woo toribe san yagami san oh yagami san i'm so glad you're here if i recall correctly you need me to help you with your pictures well what am i into taking taking photos of mm. okay so there's this student who's suspected of pickpocketing and he uses a pretty clever ammo i've tried to photograph him so many times but i just can't manage it so you want me to snap a photo of him pickpocketing? Hi. Yes, exactly. I want to get a picture of him in the act so I can show him the photo and make him reflect on his conduct. No. Nah. Okay, so let me get this straight. It sounds like you don't plan on telling the school about it or turning him into the police. Hi. Of course I don't. All delinquent students should be given a chance to turn over a new leaf. All I want is, is to bring awareness. To bring enlightenment. Look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm on board. So where am I going? Near the ticket gate of Genai Station. Let me know when you're ready to go. We can head over together. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Yes. No, wait, shit. Yes. Go photograph this delinquent student without their knowledge. So our target is a third-year student by the name of Jodai Fujimaru. On the surface, he seems like a harmless, innocent student. Except he has a habit of stealing things. Bit of a klepto. Huh? Hey, there he is! Get him! Ah, shit, who am I gonna steal, steal from today? Gotta love being so evil. He always seems to just wander into, on the streets and start pickpocketing. Mm, pretty scummy. So how do you want me to take these photos? Well, look, Yagami-san. The key is to take pictures that will make the target reflect on what he did. So it'd be awesome if you could catch him at the precise moment when he lifts a wallet. And if possible, with a sort of evil look on his face. Look at that. A sort of evil look on the face. I mean, what if he doesn't make an evil look? But we'll, we'll get it imposed. It's fine. Well, I'll do my best. Hi. Hooray, let's see what you got. I can actually start using my uh, my photo taking uh, skills that I unlocked. I haven't, I haven't really made use of those in a while. So we got a good angle of our target now. It's your chance to take the photo, Yagami-san. Uh. Yes, I know. He said you wanted the exact moment that he pickpocketed someone with an evil look on his face. I got that right? I'll try to get you what you want. Okay. Menacing face. Actually, do I actually have all of them at this point? All the picture ones? Yeah, I do. Vibrates right for a photo op. And the photo master. So if I still manage to fuck this up, then I just fucking suck. Uh oh, I'm out of focus. Oh, shit. Damn, it's fast. Gotta wait for another opportunity. Shit. Okay. This is actually a fast one. Like, really fast. Which is supposed to make sense. Make the evil face. Do it. Yeah! Evil face. Yeah! Perfect. Oh, give me all that SP. Nice. I got a great shot. Look, his face is totally looks evil. Yeah! I don't know, he looks kind of constipated to me. Oh, come on, it's close enough. It's evil. Evil constipation. Impressive, yagami san Let's use that pic to enlighten Fujimaru's Maru san Oi. See if it works. Uh, hey. So I'm just going to have to beat the crap out of him, probably. Sweet. Free money. Guess I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's that nerdy bitch. She's stalking me. Now be enlightened. Ah! <laughs> huh? Is this the type of person you want to be? You're supposed to be a pure heart. Do you see this with your Mars on? Do you see it? What are you talking about, you crazy bitch? And who are you anyway? High schooler's mind is like a tabula rasa, a canvas with infinite possibilities, untainted by any color. Enlightenment will allow you to finally leave your child state, and photography will give you the opportunity for enlightenment. Hey, are you 
some sketchy religious group or something. <laughs> if so, I'm not interested. No. Hey, Derebae, uh, word of advice. You need to explain yourself in simple terms. You want, don't want to be misunderstood. Uh, okay, just please look at this photo. It shows the moment you pickpocketed an innocent citizen. Look at the look on your face. Look at it. I don't know. I look kind of constipated. You look evil. What the fuck? Wait. What the hell is this? You gonna blackmail me? Who are you guys? I'd like to ask you the same thing. Huh? Who are you? You're not the kind of person who commits such heinous crimes. What are you talking about? I've been doing this shit since I was like fucking five. All right, I love it. I've already stolen your camera. I looked down, my phone's guard has got his hand. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. Don't you see, even though your actions can never be undone, it's not too late for you. Confront your objective self and be enlightened. Yeah. It's time to Alfhaven. <laughs> Alfhaven? Okay, you're trying to blackmail me, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing being blackmailed is your conscience. <laughs> I don't understand your, anything you're saying. Are you some crazy girl? I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't stop. <laughs> it's going really well. Okay, um, this isn't good. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. Hey, stop. You step up. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, for God's sakes, dude. Really? Really? Uh, all right, well, let's just, uh, mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm, and, uh, do you feel enlightened yet? Do you? Do you? Ah, shit, I killed him. All right, run. Run, Tariba, run. <laughs> what the? What are the young The police are coming around. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, God! Ah! Freaking damn it. Oh, oh, well, I thought... <laughs> I thought Yagami was saying that. I thought Yagami really was like, ah, shit, fuck, I killed him. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Freak, freaking damn it. Fuck. So this is how the mission ends. Yeah. <sighs> well, it almost went the way you thought. You know? If, if The way you thought was the opposite of what you thought. Everything is the result of your own actions, Fujimara-san. Look again! I don't give a shit. I look like shit. Just like my big bro in prison. See? You don't want to end up in there with him, do you? Takes opportunity to repent. Repent! Okay, fine. I'll fucking look for Jesus or whatever. Oh, I, I don't I really care about that. No, I'm going for it. I'm going to go find Jesus right now. I'm over this shit anyway. It won't happen again. Wait. Did that really just work? And I'll, I mean, the punching probably helped a bit. Punching always helps. <laughs> well then, Fujimara-san. I'm going to give you this picture as a souvenir of your revelation. I don't want that piece of crap. <laughs> Later, losing. <laughs> oh my god, he ended up just like I'm like pretending him to be. That's awesome. Later, losers. Is that count as going well? He's going to just yeah, keep doing fun. this, isn't he? Well, let's head all back onto the club room, I guess. Yeah, my focus didn't do anything. We did it? Hey? <laughs> the power of photography is truly amazing. We really got Fujimara son to reflect on what he did. Uh, actually, it seems to me like he just got tired of being angry. But sure, maybe we had some effect on him. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help today, Agmi san. There are a lot more delinquent students I want to take pictures of, so please come to our club room whenever you feel like it. Uh, there's more of them? <laughs> okay, this girl's even more reckless than Amasawa. It's too risky to leave her to her own devices. I'll help her out again. I might be able to get some info on the professor at the same time. I, ho I hope we do. I hope I get something from this. You know, aside from just punching random students in the face. As hilarious as that is in this game. All right, that brought us to 50. So I'm guessing we're going to go, going to go through like three of them. All right, let's go and get the most useful of all my heat actions. Of course, the X light bullet. Finishing ray move that's only impossible in virtual reality. Fire a ray of light that causes a large explosion. Going to use in Dyson Cube, it uses six X gauge segments. Good luck pulling this one off. But if you do, it's going to look cool. All right, let's go do it again. Let's, let's go. Oh, shit. We're going to like step out. Step back in. Ah, shit. I gotta refresh the area, I guess. Uh, yep. Folder's back. And suddenly a dude's here. Hmm? Yeah? Who's this, Toribe? Oh, this is my mentor, Hiyakawa-san. A great and wise master. And a bit of a warrior. Nice to meet you. I'm Kanto Hikawa, former president of the photography club. Oh, you're the retired president. <laughs> he taught me the fundamentals of camera work. He even developed his own philosophy of photography. Uh, oh, wow. Hmm. You know, the science of photography first emerged in the 19th century, and it brought about a major revolution in history. Mm -hmm. What? In the old days, humans used a mirror to discover themselves as objects. Oh, God, it comes to giving music. But it was still just a mirrored relationship. 
photography gave them the power to externalize itself as an actual being in the world. This can only be done by cutting the self out from the perspective of the big other. In other words, photography has the power to transform the cogito. It's an incredible phenomenon. But of course, what does it all mean? That is my current research topic. Oh. Uh, okay. Very interesting. Taribe's mentor, huh? Kamen Abal. Kind of a douche. Seems like Taribe got her a whole stick from him. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, would you like to hear, Buster? He called us the entire lecture about the philosophy of photography. It's so fascinating. God, please, no. No, God, no. Huh? Yes, I'm thinking of writing a thesis paper for the university until I'll be attending next year. It's going to examine the popularization of photography through the spread of daguerreotype. Also, the transformation of the general public's ego, which resulted in... Actually, I was just talking to Taribe about it to get, her, this fee, get her feedback. It resulted in what we call... Off Haven. Uh, so, yeah, that's what she said before. I was like, we didn't know about that, right? Oh, uh, well, I'd love to hear all about it, but I'm really busy, so I'll have to take a rain check today. I see. Well, then... Oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't you think he's a member of the intel intelligentsia, Yagami-san? Yeah, of course. Sure, <laughs> that. Speaking of which, I actually have a favor to ask you about f photographing the next delinquent student. Oh, boy. So who's our next target? Who am I, who am I get to punch next? The Hot Rodders. Mm -hmm. Hot Rodders? Oh, God, it's not the one part of the other club. You mean the motorcycle gang? Hi. Yes, there aren't as big a group as Made in Heaven. But they're still a troublemaking bunch. Running around the busy streets of Ajinsho without helmets or licenses. Yeah, I'm one of them. Mm. Yes, it does sound quite troublesome. <sighs> and they're serial students. So are we still trying to take pictures of them uh, to uh, get them to reflect on their bad behavior and all that? Hi. Of course we are. I'd love it if you came with me to photograph the hot rodders. So please give me a shot when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's let our noble bishop begin. This girl's fucking crazy pants. Mm -hmm. So this is where the biker gang is going to be? Hi. Yeah, they should be coming any minute now. Attica! Holy ah! oh, shit. Making me dust hockey out. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck is that face? Oh. Before he crashed through the street lane while he was looking at me. Yikes. Hey, careful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah! Enough with the yes. No. With the police. Are we just not gonna call them? Uh, I think someone already did, but it doesn't matter. As soon as cops show up, the bikers will scram. Yeah, they will. Guess we have to photograph them before that happens, huh? I think they're circling the area. Let's take the pictures before they leave. Uh, all right, let's do it. I also want them to reflect on their behavior. I was hoping you could get all the annoyed sisters in frame, you know? All of them? Okay, I'll do my best. I'm gonna wait for her to make that shitty, stupid face. Okay, that was totally it. Come back. Zoom. Include ever everyone's face? I gotta be at a right angle here. Shit, some reason right. Yeah, we can't fucking run. There we go. Ha! Look how evil you are. Perfect. This was kind of fun, though. I, I will say, it's like it is like a little puzzle. I got it, Tori May. Let me see. <laughs> nice, Yagami. That's a now that's a disturbing photo. Let's go use it to enlighten the biker gang. Ooh. Oh, hey, no, no, no! Oh, great, I'm gonna have to go fight some five dudes now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go! Behold! Just, they fucking just run her over. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at his face. Huh? You idiot. You trying to die or something? <laughs> but you stopped, and I knew you would. Because you still have a conscience somewhere inside. <laughs> this girl's fucking bananas. What? You're Kintara Hanjo, a first-year student at Serio High School. <gasps> How do you know my name, crazy bitch? Look at this picture! Look at it! Yeah! Damn, it looks so cool! Mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Don't you feel any shame bothering the innocent public like this? Uh? What the fuck did you say? Please, I just want you to wake up. This isn't who you really are, is it? Tell me what the hell your deal is, little girl. You know, I wonder what happens if I were just to leave, like right now. Like instead, I just want to go get myself a cheeseburger and then just pretend this never happened. I wonder what happened. I'm thinking about it. 
it's definitely a possibility. It's always actually a possibility. Really, I could just, I just could do it and just never come back. Pretend I didn't see anything. Ah, <sighs> God damn it. Fuck me and my conscience. Gotta go do something before we end up in the same situation as last time. Hey, uh, friendos, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, all right. Let's calm down. We're not trying to threaten or blackmail anyone. All she wants for you guys is to spare a little time to self-reflect. Assault hands here in a nice circle and talk about her feelings. Did you say blackmail? So that's what it's about? It, it, huh? You tried extra money for my pops. He's president of a real estate company. He is? Well, shit. I mean, I, I, that's actually a possibility, I guess. Blackmail is always a possibility. Just like being an ass and leaving. Uh, no, you C student. <laughs> I just said that we weren't. Uh, Shut up. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Damn it. Why does this always happen to us? <laughs> this is kind of funny, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, you see, student. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, look what I can do. Uh, just gonna throw my body on top of all of you. Wow. Damn. That worked surprisingly well. Come on, get up. Get up. Ow. Okay, you've got a sliver of health left, so clearly I need to go all out. I feel like this is really what's solving all these issues, okay? It's not your talking, it's my kicking. Shit! Look again! Look at this! Look at it! Look at it! Afraid to stare ugliness in the face! Good. Don't look away! This is you! This is your dossier! Uh -huh. Okay, so what? Who cares? Uh -huh. Just look at this photo. It'll hurt your heart. I mean, you just turn away from it. Uh... Well, I bet that you already know that what you're doing is a sin. <laughs> wow, <laughs> she's kind of a bit of a religious nut. She a sin, the original sin. Just think, what if one of the people you almost hit had been pregnant or elderly? You could break an elder's leg, and then you'd never walk again. <laughs> Ugh. Turn over your gaze right now! As we speak, the good talking and the bad talking are fighting inside you! It's time to Alfhaven! Alfhaven! Please stop! Please stop! That's not me! I am a shadow, the true soul. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Now what's happening? Toribe, that's enough. Yagami san? Now you've seen that picture. Do you realize now how foolish you've acted? Will you promise not to ride around like a crazy person ever again? Oh. Fine. I won't do it again. Honestly, I had no idea that I look like this running around. Look, can we at least stop now? Stop it. <laughs> wow, that was incredibly effective. I don't believe this is working. Wait, you're surprised? That was the profound power of photography. The power of objectifying the ego. Okay, sure. Oh, God, look at all that money in SSP I'm getting. Oh, God, it's this guy again. Oh, hey, it's the master. Taribe, I heard you are looking into the professor. Hi. Yeah. See, our next theme is delinquency, so I want to track down the professor since he's a mastermind and all. Stop doing that immediately. Huh? Huh? Don't track him. Don't pursue him. But why not? Well? You shouldn't bring personal philosophy into a power struggle, Taribe. Oh, God, he's evil now, too. Huh? What? You're risking letting the ideology swallow you up. Trust me, you will never find a way to marry philosophy and art together. But, Master... He's our final... our final target. Nah. So in the end, what do you think he was trying to say? Um, basically, he's worried about me. Mm hmm. I'm not sure that's the right takeaway. Hikawa was telling us not to pursue the professor, so... What are you gonna do now? Well, Master Ikawa once said to me that the words of great philosophers are not to be taken literally. In fact, he once said that philosophical language can get so incomprehensible science there are decade-long fights over a single sentence in a philosophy book. Oh. Well, I don't know if Ikawa is a great philosopher, but what he, he says is definitely incomprehensible. <laughs> that sounds to me like I'm free to interpret Master Ikawa's statement however I want. <sighs> That's it. Very generous interpretation. You sure see the glass half full. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to put my nose to the grindstone. Better keep an eye on her to make sure she doesn't get herself into too much trouble. 
But first, I'm gonna go ahead and step out the door and walk back in again. All right, it's going at the uh, level two of my Tiger Hidden Arts. So it extends the duration of uh, the other one, which is what well, gives me attack boost after laying a finishing blow. Sounds good. Secret of the Tiger. Oh, <gasps> oh shit. The effect of Tiger's Hidden Arts will remain even after swapping styles. Activating the Hidden Arts of the style you swap into will reset the effect time oh wow that's sick so basically i get this the the power boost and then hop into like my boxer style and get even more power i was actually thinking about that when i was like doing the crane one oh shit that's actually pretty cool so i, I could get like for example the, the crane one's uh ability to attack faster and then hop into like to tiger and go even go even faster because i was like i mean crane's good but like i really wanted the the, the fast one for one of these other ones oh my god <laughs> that's actually really sick i'm guessing that's what all these are that stuff like has some game breaking potential there Toribe. Toribe? what's up Did something happen i i saw something oh what was it you know saiga sensei he teaches social studies yeah Saiga Sensei? No, I don't know him. Well, I bumped into him in the hallway earlier, and he dropped a piece of paper. So I picked it up for him, and it was a letter. Mm -hmm. What sort of a letter? It was a type letter, so I think it was probably blackmail. Oh, shit. Blackmail? What kind of threat was in it? Take a look at it yourself. I've got it right here. It... Really? Why's that? Uh, when I picked it up, I, um, I just ran off without thinking. <sighs> Huh? What's up with you? You're just like the pickpocket. I need to take a picture of you now. It, I wasn't thinking. But anyway, here's the letter. Mm. All right, I'll look. I know you're dating Moriko Machikawa, a third year student. My photographic proof. What a shameful thing to do, having an affair with your student while your wife and child wait for you at home. If you don't want to share this terrible shame with the entire world, come tonight to the second floor of the parking garage on South Sakura River Street. Bring two million yen. Come alone. No funny business or I'll have to tell my friends. The professor and the Neo Kain gang, by the way, all about your disobedience. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Th this is... It was in an envelope, which also had a photo inside. Oh, shit. Scandalous. It says the professor is behind everything. I know! And I can't tell if it's true, but we can't just ignore it, right? Uh. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Huh? To Toribe, where's that letter? Oh, um. Uh, where'd you hide it? Give it back! You know, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm grateful for the MRC. What? It was a bit much for me to handle, so I gave it to Amasawa son of the Mystery Research Club. Yeah? What? What? Amasawa reason! I'll be in way more trouble! Fuck me! Sorry, Amasawa sen senpai. <sighs> wow. Yagami san. Alrighty then. Yagami san, we help me investigate this blackmail case? Just tell me whenever you're ready to take it uh, on. Sure thing. This is probably the last one then, right? Uh, yep, I believe so. Let's do it. Is it actually going to involve the Neo Kai and Ganger Professor at all? Guess we're going to fucking find out. A lot of randos in the parking garage today. The specific location is inside this parking garage at the rear of the second floor. Yagami san, do you feel like there's kind of a lot of shady looking men in the parking lot? Uh, yeah. Might be the guys from the Neo Kain gang. Maybe they're keeping watch so no outsiders can enter. Maybe the blackmailer was telling the truth. So you mean they and the professor could be working with the blackmailer? Uh, could be. That'd be a pretty lucky guess for me, though. Well then. What are you going to do? I'm going to sneak in and take the photos. That's what you want, isn't it? Huh? You're still gonna do it? Ooh. Of course. We came this far. Might as well stick it to out till the end. <laughs> if I go out in a blaze of bloody glory. Thank you so much. What kind of picture should I take this time? Oh, one that clearly shows the blackmailer's face, please. Yeah, be super great if you could catch him right as he's receiving the money. Look at that. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Waka waka. Ha five yes. brain, yeah. Ikuka. Oh shit, going full stealth. Bounce, gouge, down, 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 down. I'm sprint, fuck it. That's a lot of fuckos. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear it that way. Okay, so we got a guy there, a guy there. Right there. Hopefully that guy cannot see me. I could definitely take this guy out. Hey, 
Hey, a silver plate. Hey, look at the coin. Nandika? Ah, shit. Then he immediately sees me. Immediately sees me. Ah, ah, I'm dead. Fuck you, Jeremy. Got me killed. Wow. That was fast. I don't know if I'm supposed to avoid trying to take these guys out. I cannot. Okay. Can I not get off this wall? I actually can't. Wow, so if I if I stand here, I am literally stuck on this wall, by the way, until I throw a coin. No! No, come on, man! I don't even know what, what did I even do? I was just picking up the item on the ground. Do you really see me? Maybe I should just ignore them and go around the back. I know there's a ladder on the other side. <sighs> Smoke screen powder. Okay, here we go. This will work. Now I can take him down. All right. Stealth complete. There's Saiga Sensei. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Hmm? Is it going to be the sensei? Is that Kawa, the former president of the photography club? Yep. He's the blackmailer? That can't be. Whatever the case, I need to snap a photo. Let's capture Kawa's delinquency without being noticed. I don't know how they don't see me. I'm at a pretty uh, wide angle here. Zoom in. Uh. Wait for the passing of the money. Oh wait, I'm. This is the wrong guy. I need to get. I need to get Hokawa in shot. Here we go. Get the envelope. Yeah. I can't see Hokawa's face that well, but it, whatever. Work. It good enough. Perfect. Nice, I got a good shot. Now it's time to get out of here. No, wait, Master Ikawa? Uh, yep, let's question him later. I, no, I don't believe it. I know how you feel, but I'm going to question him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn it. Oh, hey, uh, jeez. Why do I do this to myself? Toribe? Master Kawa! Toribe, hold up! Uh, that snappy bastard! Yagami san, too. Shisho. Master Kawa! Why would you blackmail Saiga sensei? What are you talking about? This is. Why would you do it? No. Nah. You only told us to not to pursue the professor to cover your own ass, didn't you? Are you yagging me? koga -san told me all about you. Oh, fuck, Koga. Here, sticking your nose pretty deep into our business. Mataka. So out of the two million being extorted, extorted, how much were you guys going to take as your cut? Who knows? But should not matter to you, about to cave your skull in. yagami -san. Yagami -san. Three, stay back. Unsavory man. Fucking Koga. Don't you say his name around me, you sex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I already did. Let's grab one of these guys. They're out. Grab, 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 grab. Ow! Dude, will you get it? Oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, I got it. Okay, seriously. Oh! Okay, it's not going well. Okay, grab, grab. Just gonna. Do I wanna throw one of these guys off the edge? Come on. Come on. We're gonna do this. Yes. <laughs> Time to die from like a five foot fall. Ah! That's right. You're going next. You're going next. Come on. No, you come here. You're gonna join your friend. You just join your fucking friend. Farewell. Say hi to your friend for me, dipshit. Ooh, 14k and 7,000. 
Kawa. Nah. Were you using the professor's underground site? Yes. That's where I found out about Saiga Sensan's affair. An underground site? Something like that actually exists? It's the reason there's a rumor about you and Morika Machikawa having a relationship. What? Is that true? Somebody. And the site is where you secretly f took photographs in order to blackmail him? It started when the professor contacted me. He said if I wanted to know more about Saiga Sensei's affair, he'd be willing to tell me where I could catch them in their next tryst. <laughs> so the f professor gave you a tip? Yeah. I don't know how he knew about the affair, but he knew the time and the place of their next rendezvous point. Naruhodo. Even for a detective, telling a target for multiple days, investigating an affair, that's tough. It's easier if you know their travel route, of course. I can't believe any of this got out. Shisho. Master Kawa, why would you do such a thing? Using photo photos to blackmail others. You've told me so many times that photography is art. I just needed money to finish my education. Wait, at the university, but... How much do you think it costs to attend a private university for four years while living alone? It's outrageous if you're doing a doctorate. doctorate. <laughs> Even if that's true. Look, I gave up my pride today for a better tomorrow. I'm willing to do anything to make my dreams come true. Look at this photo! Shisho. Master Kawa, please look at this. What is it? Clear your face, Master Ikawa. That's the look of a total criminal. <sighs> this is the look of a smooth criminal. You want to avert your eyes, don't you? You don't want to see this photo because it makes you into an object you hate. Yes, my fake face looks evil. I look evil as I blackmail Saiga Sensei. <laughs> I ain't seen your face like this. I I respected you so much, Master. Toribe, I'm sorry. I... Saiga so Sensei? <laughs> yeah? Yes? I know. Why don't we talk about what happens next? What are the consequences? And what should be done with Akawa? Sure. Also, what about your alleged relationship? Is that true or, or not? Yagami-san? Don't worry, I won't be too hard on him. Beat the shit out <laughs> Yagami -san. Oh, hi, Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. Ano. Um, so how did yesterday's discussion go? About Master Akawa's punishment? Uh. He's dead, I killed him. <laughs> what? <laughs> you shouldn't have trusted me, Toribe. All right, on to the next school story. <laughs> oh, I talked it out with Saiga Sensei. He agreed it was partially a fault, and he got his money back anyway. So he decided to punish Shikawa. Oh, thank goodness. So I guess since they seem to regret his actions, though, he's going to step down. Really? Toribe. Oh, and Toribe, there's one other thing about Akawa. Mm -hmm. Master? I just submitted my notice of withdrawal from the school. Huh? What? Nani? Well, why? I thought you were going to be punished. So I guess since they forgave me, but I can't forgive myself. The photo you showed me had that much of an impact. I have to say, in a truly Nazishian eternal return of capitalism, I lost sight of myself as I materialized my own existence. <laughs> but, but what are you going to do about your doctorate? Huh. I can go back to school whenever I want. There's something else which can only be done right now. Mm -hmm. What's that? I've decided to travel across various countries and take pictures in all of them. Huh? What? The daemon within me whispered, the daemon. Are you sure you want to indulge yourself in some old Japanese university all throughout your precious teens and twenties? The truth is, I've been lost the whole time. But I was able to break out of it, Toribe, thanks to you. Master! <laughs> There's your old haven! Exactly. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> what? What in the fuck? First I'll be going to the Asian main mainland, and then India, then maybe Tibet. Those are the places where Buddhism was birthed. The places which contain the philosophy of all creation. I'm going to these lands to discover the body without organs inside of myself, which has been poisoned by consumerism. I don't want to be a sophist who just gathers knowledge and stays in an ivory tower. I'd rather be an egg. Nah. Hey, I don't understand any of what you're saying. What the fuck? I just, just don't go anywhere dangerous, all right? They will chew up a nerd like you, right, and spit you out. <laughs> I know. I can't enjoy philosophy or art if I'm dead. Well... It's time to, for me to leave so I can get in there to board the ship. 
fare thee well, Teribe. He was a weird guy. That's it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but at least he was excited about withdrawing from school. That's something positive. Hi. Yeah. Master Kawa is still an incredible guy. Uh, because of his principles, of course. Of course, principles. To India, huh? <laughs> yeah, that guy might end up being a bigger deal than we expect, you know? One of those philosophical artist types. Mm. Hmm. Guess I should have gotten one last photo with him. Anyway, as to the professor. Eh. Right. I tell you, I'm stuck on the fact that professor, the professor contacted Ikawa-kun directly. Why? Does the professor not contact the users of this site very often? Yeah. No, he doesn't. I think this is a pretty rare situation. Maybe he just thought he'd benefit from talking to Ikawa. It's hard to say right now. Oh, God damn it. Duribe, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here for Aida Kurasan. I saw him capture a smile on a photograph. <laughs> Just move on already, you fucking weirdo. You freak. Never. Thanks to Yagami, I've learned that it's imperative for a photographer to just have patience and persistence. Why don't you just smile for her? <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I'm so glad your Kurasan has a new friend. If you can call that friendship. All right, cool. Okay, that was fine. That was, I actually thought that was a lot of fun. For one of the shorter ones? Yeah, that was that was enjoyable. Did I actually finish all the the extra bits for this one? I sure did. Not too many. Yeah, that was that was a good one. That was nice. And actually, it was related to the Kayan gang. We talked about Koga. Yeah, it, just a nice quickie, but very enjoyable. I kind of like to actually like, just like position yourself to get the right shots. It was nice actually having uh, something outside of like the, the detective stuff of actually doing the photography things. Cause it seemed like there was like, you know, th like there was a prime chance for them to actually expand on that and, and give you some nice like areas and environments and puzzles to sort of work around with the camera. But we, we barely ever utilized it in the last game. And we seem like we're barely utilizing it in this game, at least until this club. Even if it was only like three of them, but it was cute. Really cute actually. So yeah, definitely would not call that one a dud. Holy shit, I got a fucking shit ton of SP now. All right, I guess we're going get some of these uh, boring ones then. Uh, charge up the X gauge faster. I think it's actually the maximum for this. And then health boost. Ah! All right, so that just leaves the, the girls bar for the last of the short ones. And then we gotta get through some of these, though I'm guessing at this point in the game, if, even if I were to try to get through them all, they probably would block me off, right? Like I probably wouldn't be able to get much further. Oh, actually, now I think about it. Now they got money. I might be able to to boost my big DLC bike. Well, m maybe. Actually, this costs like 400k per per one. I could probably get pretty close, or at least get like a couple of more things for it. Pretty close to making it, you know, not shit. Hmm. I wonder if this would be a good point then to get back to the main story. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll still do like maybe one more episode of like a bit more school stuff. Either finish up the girls bar one or progress a bit more with one of these. Still not very far in the biker gang one, but we're pretty much done with all the sub stories aside from the paradise VR one. But I don't, I, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to spread that one out, but I think we're probably heading back to the main story here pretty shortly. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think I should just hop back to it or if I should uh, maybe do like one more episode of, of side stuff. Uh, let me know. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. If you're not ready, become Pinky Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.